go blank for me? Yeah. I incorporate blended learning much more now than I did five years ago. We use technology almost on a daily basis. My students use QR codes to scan and link to content um, at their fingertips on their phones. They even create their own QR codes for projects. Looking up content on their own, um, more so than me just telling them a definition, like you have to interpret the information yourself. It also allows for creativity like never before. So students can uh, showcase their learning of something in a much more engaging and creative way. I have a classroom website I built where students can go and they can get the homework assignments. And it does more than just list the assignments. It gives them links so they can print them out on their own if they miss class. All of my lectures are video lectures I've created that would be just as if I was lecturing in class, but now it's hosted on Edpuzzle, so students can pause it, they can rewind, they can go at their own pace, which really helps if they're out for sports or if they miss a day. Instead of just copying the notes from someone, they get the exact same experience. I put up practice tests before the unit test so that the students could, exp could experience what the test is going to be like. I also update the OneNote so if the students are absent, then they're able to go online and see what we did for that day. For example, I have a student who's in Mexico right now, so she's um, able to access the class in Mexico, and it's like she never left because she's able to keep up with her notebook, and if she has any um, questions, then she's feel, you know, feel free to email me at any time, and when she comes back, she'll be able to make up all the tests. And it's been awesome because the kids are really engaged in it. They like working online. I mean, that's just what they love. They're also taking more ownership of their work. If they didn't quite understand it in class, like I had that happen today, a student's like, well, I didn't quite follow. I'm gonna go home and look it up again, and then I'm gonna work through it, and if I still don't understand, I'll come and ask you. Like, Sounds like a good plan. Canvas, it, it's a place where all of your teachers can upload their assignments, so then you can like, type up documents and essays on Word and you can submit it online. For presentations, you can do other things like Pictochart, Linos, more Padlet, and you could give them the link on Canvas so it's very easy for the teacher to read and good. We were working on our drought research for the unit that we're doing right now. It's a water unit. We did the graphs and we did the summary and the summary um, was for homework last night and we used OneNote to send it to another person so they could edit it and then we put it onto S'more. You put multiple sources and content onto S'more and it makes it into a flyer. Apps that we could use outside of the classroom as well as inside, we based a lot of our projects off of those. Each unit we did like a vocab project and we had to use Padlet where we had to create like pictures and definitions and it was really helped to like see and visualize everything at the same time as well as read it. We do like different presentations and learn teaching uh, subjects to the class. I'm not uh, able to do like drawing and that kind of stuff but technology I'm really good at so using it I could do like really cool stuff and uh, show the learning the way I know how to do it. Easier to create things that I can't create with pencil. So it can be it's like a way more creative way of thinking and doing your projects and anything that you can do with it. We're doing this Twitter thing about the debate and all the election, like the political statuses and stuff. So we've been following that on Twitter. We do, we've been doing blogs about it. Some of my classes, I uh, have to make index cards, but sometimes when I don't want to carry all those index cards, I can easily use my phone like with an app that'll carry all the index cards. Well, it's like they're flashcards, but electronically. So it makes it easier for me to take things around and still be able to study whenever I have free time. We did we did do something like two weeks ago. It was like a barcode thing where we'd run around campus, kind of like a scavenger hunt to get clues and to like learn more about like this chapter's test and stuff. We do a game called Kahoot, which is an online website where the teacher can make questions and the students answer them through four different answers. So it's kind of like a multiple choice game. Technology has supplemented my learning, definitely. Um, it's helped me realize that technology is more than just a distraction. It's really a new platform on which we can, um, we can broadcast our ideas, we can broadcast what we learn in the classroom, and then we can also learn from what other people have to say as well. We use the iPads, we use our phones, we use the computers at our homes, so we hear scavenger hunts in class, and all these uses of technology in the class really do help uh, students, especially me, because today in today's society, technology is such a constant. 
it's giving them more choice. And what I keep telling kids is I'm trying to build up a digital toolbox for them. So I teach them all these different applications and then they have a project and they get to choose which one they want to use. And that's exciting for them. And, and you'll walk around the room and kids are on different websites and then I can grade whatever it is because they just drop those links into Canvas for me and it opens up no matter where they've decided to create their um, products, whether it be Quizlet or Lino or S'more or whatever it is, they're just dropping those links in there and they're getting to choose what they're doing. So they've been really excited about that.